Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSC 2009 guys. The given question is consider a system with four types of resources. Okay, so they are clearly saying there are four types of resources. R1, R2, R3 and R4. Each are having 3, 2, 3, 2. Okay. A non-preemptive resource allocation policy is used. Non-preemptive means it is going to be a non-stop type. Okay. So, at any given instance, a request is not entertained if it cannot be completely satisfied. Okay. So, the concept which they are saying is, so here at a time T naught, R2 requesting for two resources. At a time T1, R3 is requesting for one resource. So, if there is only one resource of R2 at this moment of time, you are just going to skip it for now, guys. So, that's what it is saying, right? Yes, because it will be entertained only if all the things are available, right? Yes. So, three processes, P1, P2, P3, sources as, a, as a follows, if executed independently, okay? Which one of the following is true? If all three processes run concurrently starting at a time zero. Okay, so now they give four statements. So let us first solve this, then we will check this particular thing, guys. Okay, yes. So let us start. Okay, so at a time zero, P1 came. So let us follow in this order only. At a time zero, P1 requested for uh, requested for two R2 units. Okay, so P1, P2, and P3. So now I am going to assign two for them. So one will be left out in my storage, right? So R, sorry. R2, right? My bad. So, this R2, all resources have been given to it, right? Yes. Now, this statement is done. So, now this statement. So, P2 is requesting for two resources of R1. Okay. So, P2 is having two resources of R3. So, two resources have been allocated. So, I will be writing in the numerator something like on power, guys. The number of resources, two resources. This is also done. So, now at a time 0, R4 is, sorry, P3 is requesting for, is requesting for R4 resources and the number of resources is 1. Okay. So, after 1 or, or once the time has been started, once we are be, before hitting 1 second, the available items are 3011 guys. Okay. So, at a time T1, there is only one line to execute. So, only this line. So, P1 will be requesting for one R3 resource. So, this R3 one item is also done now. Okay, so at a time T2, these two statements are there, right? Yes. So at a time T2, P2 is requesting for one resource of R4. So now R4 is also completely done. Okay, so now P3 is requesting for two resources of R1. Two resources done. So now we are done with the two lines. Like now the current time is 3 seconds, right? Yes. So at 3 milliseconds or 3 seconds or whatever unit you want to call it, at t equal to 0, we are having only one statement and it is requesting for two resources. Just give me a second. I forgot to subtract from here, guys. So, here you will end up with one, right? Yes. So, now the time is a t equal to 3 and we are requesting for two units of R1. Observe here, guys. So, we need two R1s, but do we have two R1s? The answer is no. So, hence, I am not going to execute it. I am going to pause it for now, guys. I don't know whether I can execute future in future or not, but let us pause it for a while, right? Yes. Okay. So now let the time roll. So now the time is a four. Okay. So once the time is a four, now T4 is requesting for one unit of R1. So now this left out R1 is given to this guy. Okay. So R1 is also given. Okay. So now until here it is done. So now the time has uh, is going on and now the time is a five. So now, once the time is a 5, I can execute these two steps, right? Yes. So this step says that T5 is e T equal to 5 release 2 units of R1. Okay. So previously, P3 took 2 units of R1, right? So that is released now, guys. So now we got again 2 units of R1. So now this step is done. So now these all steps are done, right? So let me strike them off, guys, because at that time we will get more clarity, right? Yes. So now the time is a 5, right? Yes. But I noticed time 3 step I did not execute. So let us execute it now because we are having the resource now. So now I will assign 
for P1, I will assign two units of R1, guys. Okay, so I have assigned, so it becomes a zero. So now this step is done. So now the current time is a five, right? Yes. So in the five only, it is saying release a one unit of R2. So now R2 will be updated to one, and I am going to update this to one, and this step is done, and one unit of R1. So I am going to release one unit of R1 also. Okay. Yes. So we have released it, and now this is also done. Okay. So now the time is continuing, and now the time is a six. So once we hit the six, it is saying release a one unit of R3 in P2. R3 from R3 we are going to release one unit. So in R3 also we are going to have one unit, right? Yes. So for easy, let me write it here, guys. So it is a one 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 zero, right? So the current status. Nice. So now this step is done. We have released one unit of R3. Yes. So now the time is continuing, and now the time is a seven, guys. So in seven, we are having these two steps. So this step let us execute first. So request one unit of R2. So where is R2, guys? So this is R1, R2, R3, and R4. So we are having one unit of R2. So I am allocating it to this guy. So R2 is allocated for this guy. R2, one unit, right? Yes. So now this step is done. So now let us execute this step. So this says that release R1, one unit. So we are going to release R1, so one unit. So R1 is here. The final unit also we have released. Okay. So now we are left out with the two R ones, right? Yes. So now the time is continued, and P2 says that its execution is completed. So P2 is the first one which has been completed successfully, right? Yes. So now the time is continuing, and now the time is eight, right? So now at time equal to eight, request one unit of R3. So now this has been moved to zero, and with R3 we are going to add one. So with R3 I am requesting for one unit, right? So it's done. So now this eighth step will be done. So request two units of R4. So again here we are not having two units of R4. So how you are going to do it, right? Yes. So it is going to pause again, right? Yes. So now what will happen? Okay. So just a small thing, guys. Huh? So once this process has finished, so indirectly it is going to release all its resources, right? Yes. So indirectly, according to my observation here, we are having one unit of R1 there, so it becomes a three. One unit of R3, so this becomes a one, and one unit of R4, so this becomes a one. Okay. So once this is done, then T4, T, this execution will be done. So now once this is done, it is going to release these resources. So it is going to add one unit of R2, so it becomes a one. One unit of R3, so it becomes a two, and one unit of R4, so it becomes a two. Right? Yes. So we are having a three, one, two, two. Right? Yes. So now the time is eight. So let us execute this. So request two units of R2. So you can request for this, and you will assign it, and at the end you will finish it. So the order is a P2, P3, and P1. Right? So in this exact order, we were able to solve this particular question. Right? Yes. So this is nothing but the safe sequence. So option A says that all processes will finish without any deadlock. Okay. So according to my understanding, this option is absolutely true because I never found a deadlock, and I was I am hundred percent sure that the order in which they execute also is a P two, P three, and P one. Right? Yes. So the final results, I think they will finish in this order. To be clear, right? Yes. So only P one and P two will be in deadlock. No. Only P one and P three will be in deadlock. No. All three process will be in deadlock. No. So option A is the correct answer. It's a quite interesting and a bit a direct question, right? The only thing with respect to this question is uh, instead of directly giving how many resources they want or something, uh, they gave with respect to time, right? Yes. So now you are understanding, right? How much easy these questions are? Yes. Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this. Uh, so in the next lecture, let us uh, continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.